Your new jet ski. All right, guys, I got my filmer a brand new 300 horsepower supercharged jet ski. I immediately saw this and my brain said, this is a gift that is saying, hey, please don't, you know, sue me or take me to court over this. This Jack Doherty situation after crashing his McLaren got way worse. If you didn't see that already, you can go watch my last video. But let's hop right into this. I got back from a long day to see this right here. It says TikToker Jack Doherty turned to begging for donations after crashing a McLaren car while texting and driving in the rain. Yes, you read that right. He went on TikTok and was begging people to send in the gift on TikTok that's equivalent to about $13 to $15, acting as if he's now broke. He has no money. He needs money to be able to get this McLaren back. Now I'm going to show you what makes that doubly crazy on top of him already having a lot of money, having a McLaren and all that. He actually goes ahead and like shows his car collection. I'll get to that towards the end of the video because it's an insane clip. And there's just a whole series of wild clips after this car incident that Jack Doherty has put out there that I'm gonna show you right now. It's cringe, buckle up, let's cringe together. Uh, thousands of viewers commented when we're gay from the live stream showed, even as donations poured in. But people did give this rich guy money. I'm gonna show you what makes this insane. So here's one of the clips where he responded to uh, Faze Rug here actually. Let's play this. Bye bye McLaren, yeah, way to rub it in my face. Keep rubbing it in my face. See what happens. Is your cameraman good? Yes, he's good. Acting mad. I don't know why he thought his audience was going to see this giant incident of sorts happen and then be like, oh, he got you. You're cool. You're a cool guy. Nothing bad happened. His whole audience, as a matter of fact, minus some people, have turned against him, basically. Ever since then, they've been turning against him for quite a while now. This is just like the cherry on top to be like, okay, my biases is confirmed against him as a Jack Doherty fan for people that are fans of him, of course. Bro, it's desperate for the McLaren money back. Yeah, thanks. Someone just drove by my house and said that. You guys just hear that? Imagine crashing your McLaren. Ha ha ha. You're so cool and funny. Crashed McLaren. Yeah, I did. How'd you crash your car? I hydroplane. I literally hydroplane. I'm in a McLaren in the pouring rain. What do you expect? You got so he's still not admitting to, you know, him being distracted by chat, him kicking it up and going a little bit faster in the rain, having one hand on the wheel, not having full control of the car. This whole meta of like, oh, you can't drive a McLaren in the rain is insane. Some people are buying that. I am literally 29 years old i've driven on the road for more than 10 years at this point and i've seen mclarens in the rain okay this idea that a mclaren can't drive in the rain is not real now are they harder to drive in the rain than your you know your honda civic yes of course they are there's more control to it things like that right but it's not that you can't drive them in the rain i've never drove a mclaren um crashing your mclaren just to be relevant again, it's crazy work. That's not at all what happens. Is your McLaren okay? No, it's cooked. What's your response on Facebook? That guy. But guys, I'm about to buy something for someone. This, he actually went ahead and bought something for his filmer. And I'm going to tell you what makes that really bad and really weird. And I'm going to show you the moment. I'll get to that just towards the end. It's it's crazy. I really am excited to show it to you. Quick little check on this clip right here. This is the clip that Daily Mail shared about him. Let's see what it says. Let's see how fast you can hit my galaxy. Oh, I'm going to follow everyone back once we hit it. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate it. People are literally donating to this already rich guy and they don't need to. He's making them feel bad. He's pulling at their heartstrings. It baffles me that people don't understand that this guy already has money. Take one stroll through his content like we're going to do and you will immediately see what i'm talking about there's jack doherty's content post crashing his car Shit. Your new jet ski. Oh, all right guys i got my filmer a brand new 300 horsepower supercharged jet ski i immediately saw this and my brain said this is a gift that is saying hey please don't you know, sue me or take me to court over this. As soon as I thought that, I'm like, let me just go to the comments. Hold on a second. What do you know in the comments? Someone said, no, it's a please don't sue me gift. The timing of him buying it is so perfectly after this incident. Do you think he would have bought him this had it not been for the incident? 
No, he wouldn't have. And he's buying this on his own birthday, too. So he's literally doing this so that his friend shuts up. This is People will famously do this so that people shut up. It's like the shut up cash. Instead of cash, it's in the form of a gift that you're seeing. Now, did he actually end up giving him his jet ski, or is this an act? I don't know. That I can't confirm or deny I'm not there. I'm going to assume he just gave it to him for the exact reasons that I just told you. But let's continue this. He has a oh, I'm sorry gift for, you know, getting him in that McLaren crash. He's been wanting this for literally... He literally did confirm it, an I'm sorry gift, but it's also a please don't sue me gift. Ever. It's my birthday today, but it's our birthday after what I put him through a couple days ago. All right, guys, so my filmer, Michael, just got back, and now I'm going to surprise him with his new Michael David. Oh, you're Yeah. Holy shit. I still do not understand why they have so many camera angles on this guy. There's like three camera views. There's two right there, the one with the shoulder cut off. There's another one behind us right here. Why is there so many cameras for anything Jack Doherty does? He's he's obviously buying a jet ski. So he's buying a jet ski for his filmer, but yet he's online being like, Hey, give me money. I need money for my McLaren. I need money. This guy does not need your money. I promise. Holy shit, get ass. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he likes it. You're the best, bro. We were literally talking. Something in my human body is, just doesn't feel right about this. This yesterday. Is it worth it? Car crash? Yeah. <laughs> This feels like an act. This feels like a cover-up. Straight up. Now, the next piece of cringe. In case you thought that he crashed his car and didn't have another car to default to, eh, hang on a second. You're wrong about that. Let me show you this. Guys, I just picked up my Tesla Cybertruck after being in the shop for two weeks. After I literally got it brand new, drove it home, and then it just stopped working on me. No, not his Cybertruck not working on him. No! <laughs> There's people in the comments right here who say, only bigger tool than this dude are people that follow him. Someone said, don't crash it. Not gonna lie, I hope you stay safe. Like, his own audience has turned against him completely. But, dude, he's picking up his Cybertruck seven hours ago. If this doesn't say spoiled rich person, that, mind you, people are still donating to. They're still donating to this guy. And this isn't it. He has a whole collection of cars. Like, I promise I'd show you. We'll get to that in a second. Yeah, I finally got my Cybertruck back. Let's go. Shout out, Elon. People are saying, no, it's a please don't sue me gift, right? Much like I said. Let's see what he had to say to this. Oh, it's a please don't sue me gift? What do you mean? I bought him the jet ski because I genuinely care about him and he's my friend. I'm not trying to dodge any law. Do you genuinely care about him? He's your friend, coincidentally, right after you got into the accident? Is this how this works, Jack Doherty? Hmm, I'm starting to think that you bought this so that you know, he doesn't take you to court on this situation. And it's like, shut up money, right? It's hush money. Lawsuits, like, right? Guys, not dodging a lawsuit because I can buy about 40 jet skis with the amount of money. I also, when you're in front of the camera and you look back at someone and go, right? Obviously, they're going to say what you either told them to say or what you want them to say, especially if they're your friend. I'm surprised that the guy's even hanging around him. I saw some comments after my last video where people were like, oh, yeah, I got into a car accident. Now I've had to, like, part ways with this friend because of the accident. Like, I'm very surprised he's still hanging out with him, to be quite frank. Maybe it's just because all the money he has. He's like, oh, I got to hang around this money guy. But... Either way, man, I, even when I read the comments in my last video, a lot of you were reminding me of, like, Jack Doherty's past cringe, which I was then refreshed by and thought, man, this guy's still around. That is such not a funny bit right there. Hmm. In case you didn't cringe hard enough at that, Jack Doherty had the audacity to get on Twitter and say, hey, look at this, my updated 2024 car lineup. This is his car lineup after, you know, being broke and begging for money on TikTok Live. I just got my McLaren back from the junkyard and uh, it looks fire in front of all my whips in the driveway. Look, I got all my dirt bikes pulled out right here, all my quads pulled out right there. My filmer. How many cars is this? We have another McLaren there. We have my a Tesla. He has this little off-roader thing. He's got a Mercedes camper van. He's got all these off-roaders. My filmer's still on the McLaren. I don't know why he's not filming, but it looks so fire with all the cars lined up. And I got my brand new boat that my... 
Andy's got a brand new boat. Girlfriend just got me back there, so yeah, this is a pretty. And the cyber truck. Yeah, you should definitely be donating to this guy. And holy smokes, man, this guy is way worse than I thought. I don't know why he had to make himself look even worse. He could have just shown the accident if he had planned to show it and then moved on. That would have been better than showing all this. He just dug himself a hole that's much deeper. This is really bad. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section. I really enjoyed reading the comments in my last video. And if you subscribe here, I think we had like 85, 86 of you that subscribed from the last video. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. And if you enjoyed this video, do hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because you are a valued citizen here. And there's more videos to come this week. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.